Hey everyone, it's Flex. Welcome to Build in Isolation. It's just like the Build Series Sydney you know and love and tune into every single time we upload, but because we're staying inside to stay safe, it's from the comfort of our own homes. Today I'm virtually joined by an amazing guest. She's a performer, an actor, and you might even recognize her from Netflix's new series, Snow Pizza. Please give it up for Annalise Basso. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, what an introduction thank you <laughs> oh, look. what I do best now obviously we're in isolation and before I start with any chit chat I'd love to get context for what it's been like for you you know where are you staying who are you taking shelter with how are you finding it all of the important information I'm, I'm with my mom and my sister in Colorado and we're hiding away in the mountains surrounded by forest you to have it right outside is like Oh, it's, it's really nice. And it's actually been really great for all three of us. We're taking this time to get really healthy. And I'm just really happy that we're together. Because if I were alone in a, an apartment right now, I don't know, I get, <laughs> I get really sad. <laughs> <laughs> What's been keeping you busy in this time? Have you picked up any new hobbies? Well, I've actually been, uh, been working on some photography. And my mom and my sister and I have been baking a lot, which I, I did a lot when I was little, but uh, I just, as I got older, I didn't really have the time to do that anymore. So we've been making all these fresh breads from scratch and exploring some new TV shows, uh, taking hikes, and I guess in terms of new skills, just working more on the ones that I wasn't really good at in the first place. <laughs> and is photography one of them? What kind of... Um content have you been shooting? A lot of self-portraits and you know my mom has a blank white wall in her bathroom and so we just take out uh, like tissue paper or, or some kind of translucent fabric and shoot through it and just try to make it artistic and fun and we try to come up with a new concept every day but you know after three months we've kind of exhausted <laughs> our, our bin of fun fabrics. <laughs> I mean, well, you can add creative director and model to activities and titles that you've given yourself during isolation. Note of that. <laughs> <laughs> Just update that I'm giving really quickly. <laughs> and like, I've been noticing that every time I jump on Instagram, there's another amazing celebrity, um, like entertaining me, whether it's, you know, Cody Simpson reading poetry or, you know, <laughs> Chrissy Teigen baking banana bread. Have you seen any celebrities doing anything that's like interested you, made you giggle? made you bookmark? <laughs> well, in terms of creative stuff, I've actually been really inspired by some of the photographers that I follow on Instagram. And there's this one, there's this one woman, her name's Eliza Elev, but it, she has a crazy Russian name. I feel really bad that I can't pronounce it correctly. But um, Sasha Frolova, Pavlova is another person that I've been looking at online. And just, I've been, I've been loving being able to focus on on everybody's art that they're producing in quarantine. And that's something that I really hope that we can all uh, bring through to the end of this when hopefully everything turns back to normal. We can just hold on to that courage to try new things because, you know, along with photography, we've been painting a lot and sketching and it's just been, it's just been good for, for what quarantine is, for what that time in quarantine can be. It's just been creative and full of, of warm family time. <laughs> Absolutely. And you mentioned you were watching some new TV series or movies. Can you recall any? Well, we started watching Naked and Afraid. <laughs> oh, I've heard, I've heard things. <laughs> what, what have you heard? <laughs> um, I've heard that it is, uh, I don't think cringy is the right word, but just very confronting to see things and to um, secondhand experience those things through somebody else's perspective. <laughs> and also the concept is not something that, I mean, Survivor is obviously quite dramatized, but being out there naked and afraid and then having to date just doesn't really feel <laughs> sexy or fun, but I'm not gonna rule it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, not, not the ideal first date situation, but. Uh, yeah, we've been we've been watching a lot of Naked and Afraid, British Bake Off. Uh, let's see. Oh, Dead to Me. Binge the second season of Dead to Me. We love that show. And what else? There's there's been we've been rewatching Downton Abbey as well. Love love Downton. So fun. And have you caught any episodes of Snowpiercer on Netflix? <laughs> show again? I haven't really. 
<laughs> no, it's, it's blowing up quietly. I don't know. Everyone's talking about it, but no biggie. It is huge. I mean, I, um, I often find it really hard to explain the concept to people who don't understand sci-fi, but basically it's civilization is on a perpetually moving train and we get to see how class um, and privilege and resource all intersect and there's metaphors in there and it's a lot, but tell me a lot or a bit about your character. Oh, LJ's, LJ's a bit sketchy. She, <laughs> she's really angry and she has some nihilist tendencies to her and she's really not happy with her life on Snowpiercer. She hasn't adjusted well to life in, uh, in captivity well at all. And um, I think in this next episode, it's one of the, one of the episodes that I'm most excited about for my character. Uh, you'll you'll get to see the real LJ, and I think hopefully it'll surprise people, and I think some people will be shocked in, in hopefully all the good ways. <laughs> Ooh, I'm expecting her to be like a bloodthirsty anarchist, but I'll wait. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, and obviously, I mean, shooting a, a show like this, there's got to be so much that I'm not seeing. So first of all. Are you on a train when you're filming Snowpiercer? Um, and second of all, can you give me insight into what a day on set is like? Well, we filmed the whole thing on a soundstage. So in terms of being on an actual train, they built train cars in this huge soundstage. So coming onto set every day, you know, you'd walk in, you'd be on set for you know, eight to 14 hours, depending on what your workload's like. And then you walk out and the, and the sky is dark. It's night out. So it's just like you walk in and you're in this world of Snowpiercer and you can't escape it. And it, I think it definitely felt a little claustrophobic at times, which was good for the show. But um, yeah, it was, it's pretty all consuming, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. And you're working with an all-star cast. What is that like? Have you been given any nuggets of truth, any tips on how to, you know, settle into your role? Oh my gosh. Just, I mean, being able to be in a scene opposite Jennifer Connelly or David Diggs is just, I, I've been doing this for 10 years and, you know, being able to work with other actors like Viggo Mortensen and Amy Poehler and stuff, it's just like, I don't know how how an apprentice to Michelangelo would feel. <laughs> I mean, you get to see these people who you've been looking up to for so long in their element. And I've learned so much from them in terms of building my craft and, you know, being professional and all that. But it just reminds you that a lot of work goes into being, you know, number one on the call sheet. And they they got to where they are by being the amazing, talented actors and actresses that they are. And just to be working with them is, is amazing. And do you have any favorite moments from being on set filming the series? If I go into too many details, I think I'll give it away because one of my favorite moments was from the episode coming up. But just for now, I will give you another moment. My, my first day on set was, uh, was with Jennifer Connelly. I had my first scene on set filming Jennifer Connelly and that was I was really intimidated and nervous and all the feelings that accompany, you know, working with an actress of her caliber, but um, it was, it was totally different, totally different than I expected it to be. Cause you know, we got on set and here we are doing the scene together and it was like LJ super unpredictable and a little bit crazy. And it's sometimes a little bit nerve wracking to take risks in front of somebody who's been doing amazing things for so long. <laughs> so absolutely. just to have her really work with me and I, and make the scene as, as amazing as it could be. I've used that word a lot in this whole interview, but you know, this is the first time that I've socialized in three months. So <laughs> oh, you're doing great. You're really doing well. <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned earlier that you have been in the industry and on screen for 10 years. You yep. are pretty much a veteran. I'm going to throw that word out. Let me know how it lands. Um, like but well. <laughs> it sounds good, doesn't it? Um, I want to get like an idea of what it's like to be so young and um, a professional career person. What has that been like? 
it's been really challenging in a lot of ways because I, you know, I went to regular school and to balance a full academic, a full-time academic career as well as a full-time professional career, it was really, really exhausting and really rewarding though because I learned a lot and this whole time um, going through school and trying to balance these two different lives, I, I looked at it kind of as a just as a negative when in reality it was a positive because one I got to take breaks from school <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really a full-time break because on those on set you know in between scenes I'm teaching myself like my last year of of high school I took four APs and I was teaching myself like AP stat and AP gov and all these things just in between scenes and that was really challenging but I learned a lot about what I'm able to handle as a person and as an artist and in exploring the environment of like high school and being challenged trying to find trying to find out who I am as a person. I was also given the opportunity to find out who I am as an artist during that time. So I although I might be a veteran time in terms of how long I've been in this industry, I still feel like I have a lot to learn because you know I'm only 21 and I, I don't know, just these past couple of years as an adult has been a completely different experience than uh, life on set as a kid. Absolutely. And presuming you have many, many, many more lustrous years in the industry, what would be your dream role? Oh, oh my gosh. There are too many, but I'll just, I'll start listing them. So yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> there's the live action version of Merida would be just choice uh i i have a little archery like hay bales set up with targets and i've been working on my archery skills um riding around on a horse in the in scotland would be amazing um but that's that's number one on my list and then something along the lines of joan of arc or some dramatic theory mm. piece that i'd be able to show off my my i don't know just I, I'm really dying to wear a corset in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got down to the root of the dream. <laughs> 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 Some beautiful, eloquent reason for why I want to be in a period piece, but really, like number one, top of my list, I just really want to be in a corset. <laughs> and we can make that happen. I mean, not me personally, but I'm just sure we've spoken it out, and somebody's gonna latch onto this idea and make it happen yes. for you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so, so, so much for blessing me with your time in this time. It's been really awesome to chat to you and I look forward to watching more episodes of Snowpiercer. Thank you. And I feel the same. Me too. I'm excited too. And uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I'm going to. I'm hooked. I'm so hooked you don't even understand, but it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> hope you have a lovely rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. You too. Bye. See you.